Jackson. More eyes on severe storms like this tornado last summer help make us all safer. Our 7 News meteorologists chase the storms for you to keep you ahead of the storm, but you don't have to be a meteorologist to be a storm spotter. Storm Station 7's Matt Makins taking you to one of several classes training the untrained eye. Four tornado on the ground. The dangerous part of a storm is well below the radar beam. Hail, wind, flooding, and tornadoes. Yeah, looks like that all the way down. Here at Storm Station 7, we have storm trackers watching all of the storms, but you don't have to be a meteorologist to learn how. Along you can take a class, and the National Weather Service will train you. In the heat of the moment, that report that comes in might be the reason we put out a warning, cancel a warning, uh, extend a warning. Thunderstorms can turn severe quickly and change rapidly. The Weather Service needs as many spotters as they can get, and they need weather to be taken seriously. People die from weather in Colorado. Uh, blizzards kill people, high wind kills people, tornadoes, uh, flooding, lightning. That's why Bob Glancy and other trainers are spending time in the classroom with you. There are 20 days of training offered in Colorado. You'll be asked to interpret some tricky Colorado weather. We know that um, a certain percentage of the reports that come in are going to be inaccurate. Um, it's 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 the nature of the beast. Um, we get blowing dust, we get verga, we get uh, huge gust fronts. Someone who's only been to training once or someone who hasn't been to training, it uh, may misinterpret. With storms in the distance and approaching your area, your trained eye can help keep the public safe. Meteorologists could issue public safety warnings based on what you see. With Corey Rappenhagen, I'm meteorologist Matt Makins, Storm Station 7.